you know, I love this YouTube thing, but sometimes when, you know, you're recording videos at, oh, I don't know, 11.52 at night, it gets a little, little bit tiring. But nonetheless, let's talk about a CPU today, guys. Hey, what is up, guys? Matt here for the Toasty Bros, and I'm here to bring you some more used hardware benchmarks. Today, we're going to be checking out the i3-2100, a dual-core, hyper-threaded, Sandy Bridge-based CPU that I picked up on eBay for $25 shipped. Is it worth the money? Well, let's talk about that. But before I get into any of those benchmarks, let's just talk about the i3-2100 and what makes it an i3-2100. This CPU was released way back in 2013 with a price tag of $120 US and has a base frequency of 3.1 GHz and 3 MB of smart cache and a TDP of 65 watts. It also features onboard Intel HD 2000 graphics. As I mentioned, this CPU has two cores and four threads. The common conception today in modern gaming is that a computer should have a minimum of either four cores or a hyper-threaded dual core with some titles not even allowing you to launch their game Games using a native dual core without hyper threading. So the bare minimum is a quad core or a dual core with hyper threading to be able to play everything on the market that is. In terms of the new CPU market, this CPU, if it was new, would be up against the G4560 at an MSRP of $60. But does the i3-2100 add a fraction of the price give it a more compelling offer being on the used market, or is it just not worth it at all being that it's that old? Well, let's just get right into those benchmarks, shall we? Cue that benchmark music. Where are you going? Going so fast tonight. Have you ever stopped beside the road to smell the rose of life? Take a breath now. Don't hold it in too long. Cause you might end up missing out on that short little song. She's saying. So now that you've seen the benchmarks, let's discuss this CPU and what I think of it. For $25, I think I paid a pretty steep price for the CPU, and that's only saying $25 for a CPU, so that's kind of telling you something, especially if you have to buy a motherboard, which will probably cost you another $60. Bucks. While an $85 combo isn't awful, I still see if you're going with the LGA 1155 socket, which is really awesome in terms of price performance on the used market, I would rather you get an i5-2400, which will be a little bit more expensive, but like myself and many other tech YouTubers out there, they have praised the i5-2400 and it's a really awesome CPU. The i5-2400 provides a significant performance boost with four physical cores, and you can actually save sometimes by actually buying a whole system together with a power supply and GPU upgrade may be needed for around $100. But that's pretty much where I stand with this CPU. If you can somehow manage to get this inside like a pre-built system for let's say 60 bucks or cheaper, then you can't really go wrong with it and you might as well pick it up for an everyday ultra budget gaming PC. 
but I really wouldn't recommend you buy this separately in hopes to buy a motherboard and all the other hardware later, especially when there's a bunch of pre-built saturated in the market featuring the i5-2400. That is my take on this CPU and I would love to hear what you all think and if there's any other used CPUs or GPUs that you want me to test out, please leave a comment down below. I'm going to answer all of them down below and I would love to know your requests. And I hope you all actually enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter and join our Discord community for more content from the Toasty Bros. I hope to see you on the next one, guys. Peace out.